Hello, this is Vivian Stewart, the virtual librarian at Southwest Tennessee. In celebration of Black History Month, I would like to share with you some of the resources that we have to offer. In the event you may be working on a Black History program or participating in some type of classroom activity. So we're starting at the library's homepage, which is www.southwest.tn.edu forward slash library. And the first place we're going is CyberCat, which is our online catalog. And if you would like to see a full-length video on how to use CyberCat, you will find it on our YouTube channel or on our Facebook page. So if you wanted to perform a keyword search using the various terms like Afro-Americans, you'll find that there are 2,229 um, results. You're provided with your title and then the icon lets you know if it's a video or if it's a book or if it's an audio. Or we can also use African Americans and you may get a different set of results. Or you can try Black Americans. Still get a different um, listing of results. You may also want to perform a subject search if you're trying to find biographical information. So if I wanted to find information on Harriet Tubman, of course you would need to enter the last name, then the first name. And you're provided with the listing of materials that we have on that particular person. CyberCAD is not hard to use. Please keep in mind that you can find print and AV items here. I'm going back to the library's home page now and we're going to our electronic databases. If you want to find biographical information you can use one of the databases listed here. As we continue to scroll down you can use TAIL and there's a, a full length little video on how to use TAIL on our YouTube channel and also on our Facebook page. I'm going to the Sweetswise Searcher and there are about 17 titles here, so we will perform a search using African American. And over to the left hand side, you'll find that the various collections are um, retrieving results. And now you can actually look at the full length information by going to a certain link. You have um, general encyclopedias here and then there are scholarly type materials that are here also. So we are stopping this now. If you need photos, I would suggest the Acronet AP Photo Archive. And when this opens up, you will find that they have already featured something about Black History Month. And it's up under the showcase. Of course, you can still perform your own um, search, but if by chance you wanted to find photos about Carter G. Woodson, when you move your mouse over his photo, there's a little blurb of information that appears, and if we double click, we will now see a larger view of that photo. And if by chance you want to see the slideshow of similar type media, you would just click on slideshow. And you can go through and see the other um, photos that they feel are similar in this particular database. So we're closing this out now. And we're back to our listing of databases. And as we continue down, we're going to the category of electronic books. And down at the bottom, we're going to the Gale Virtual Reference Library. So this is one of our ebook collections. And when it opens up, we will perform a search using um, African Americans as a search term. Sorry, I typed something in. I typed the term incorrectly, so let me go back.
Now these are search results. These are not just books. There are 10,285 search results. So some of the same books may be um, used to get different types of information. But if by chance you wanted to look at a title list, to try to see some of the books that we actually have in this module. We just simply click on title list and now we actually have our entire listing and as we go down you can see that we have the African American Almanac or African American Writers or um, African American Years chronolo Chronologies of African of American history and experience. So there's a variety of different books that we have in this collection that can be used. We are closing this out. And as we continue down, we go into the category of ethnic gender. And the first place we're going is African American history and culture. And when this opens up, if we want to find information on the civil rights movement, search. You can look at all of the results or you can just look at various biographies, events and topics, primary resources, images and videos, or maps and charts. So this is full text information and it shows you the source that your information actually comes from. And we can simply click on one to select it and the full text information will appear for us and we have the option to send this to our email or we can print it out. So this is the African American History Online and we're closing this out. And next we're going to American Women's History. So if by chance we wanted to try to find information on Harriet Tubman here, we will perform the search, typing in her last name first. And we have a total of 33 results. We're closing this out. The next thing we have listed is the Oxford African American Studies Center. And when this opens up, we will try to find information on Bessie Coleman. And we have a total of 57 um, results, 39 are biographies, 16 are subject entries, there are no primary source documents, there are images and multimedias and this is one of three pages that are, is provided. You're provided with the title of the source that the information is actually comes from and this should be full text information so if we select one of our links this is the full text information. I am closing this out and next we're going to Ethnic News Watch and this is to find newspaper articles So let's try to find some information on Jim Crow. And it's 1,093 results. And you can see the title of the newspaper that the information comes from is listed. So simply click on your title link and the full text information will appear for us. I am closing this out. You may also want to try diversity studies. As I continue down under the category of general periodicals, you may want to try SIRS, which stands for Social Issues Resource Series. And there is a spotlight that is provided on Black History Month that you may want to look at. I'm closing this out and as I continue down I am now going to the category of multimedia 
and I want to suggest you may want to try theater and video and with this particular one what I would suggest you do is searching for the term black and there may be other terms you could try but just by typing in black I have 40 results and as we go down through here you can see that if you want to if you're interested in seeing To Be Young, Gifted, and Black by Lorraine Hansberry you can view that from this module I see that August Wilson has something entitled The American Dream in Black and White that you can actually view there's something entitled Monkey Monkey bottle of beer and I've never seen that before but it may be interesting to actually watch it so this is theater and video I am closing this out and next we're going to image quest so once again if you're looking for images that you can use during Black History Month I would suggest you start here and let's see if we could find something using Alice Walker and I see I spelled the name incorrectly so by typing in Alice Walker nothing appears so let me change it and try Walker Alice okay so we have 10 results and I will select one and this is the, uh, a larger picture of the image and we're closing this out and next we're going to the master academic collection and this collection has over 5,000 videos and DVDs so I will try typing in African Americans and we're waiting for our results to appear now please keep in mind this says that this is 186 segments so of course you know the full titles um, are listed here so these are various segments from maybe one or two of the actual videos that is in this um, in this module so if you're interested in seeing one of these if we're interested in seeing plight of African Americans in the 1920s you would just simply select the video and it will start playing from your desktop and you would have the options for viewing certain segments of it or you can watch the entire video I am closing this out and I'm scrolling back up to go back to the library's home page and next we're going to distance education library infonet this is our Delhi page and we're going to recommended websites and under the category of African Americans we have several websites that have been bookmarked for you and I would suggest you look at MLK in Memphis a view from the mountaintop or if you continue to scroll down under biographies you may want to go to one of the biographies that we have listed and under the category of civil rights you may not be aware that our National Civil Rights Museum has a web page and that is bookmarked here for you so we're going to close this I'm sorry I closed it all the way out so let me quickly go back to the library's home page and the last place I wanted to go was periodicals and if we were to look at our subject areas we could see if there's anything that deals with African Americans and nothing is listed there so we would actually type in African Americans and my spelling is correct but nothing is actually there so let's try black 
and we have several listings so if you're interested in looking at Black Enterprise online you can view it from one of the databases that are list listed here or Black Issues Book Review or Black Issues in Higher Education. We will just simply select one of the databases that is listed and when this opens up it will give us a listing of the past and present issues that are available. So if I'm interested in going back to the year 2007, I will select 2007 and now I can select a certain issue and now all of those issues are available for us to actually view. I'm going back to the library's homepage and the last thing I wanted to point out is that we now have a virtual reference service that is available so feel free to use this anytime you have questions. We hope that this has been helpful for you and that you will share any comments that you have. Have a great day.